When Tesla announced plans to produce 10,000 Optimus Gen 3 units and build a dedicated gigafactory just for its humanoid robots, the market was instantly shaken. Xpeng didn't sit still either, boldly deploying its iron robot directly onto real vehicle production lines, a move both daring and practical. Two different approaches, two contrasting visions. And the key question now, who will bring robots to market first and at a better price? Before we begin, please help us reach 12,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. How do Tesla and Xpeng differ in training and deploying their humanoid robots? If AI is the brain, then image processing and environmental data handling are the eyes and senses of a humanoid robot. And in the race between Tesla and Xpeng, which robot has the sharper senses? Optimus Gen 3 or Iron Robot? The story begins with what lies deep inside, the AI control chip. Optimus Gen 3 currently uses Tesla's self-developed FSD chip, a processor already deployed across more than 4 million electric vehicles. This chip is built to process billions of video frames from cameras in real time, with ultra-low latency and minimal energy consumption. Each FSD HW3 chip delivers around 72 tops trillion operations per second, combining two high-performance NPUs, which is enough to power a self-driving car and now a walking, grasping robot. But Xpeng doesn't play on that same field. They've entered the game with a completely different card, the Turing AI chip. According to official specs, Turing can reach up to 3,000 tops, nearly 40 times more than Tesla's current FSD chip. It sounds like Xpeng is equipping iron with a super artificial brain, capable of processing massive streams of data through a unique 720-degree vision system, 360 degrees horizontally and 360 degrees vertically, paired with high-precision force and audio sensors. It's an ambitious and bold claim. But wait, does higher tops alone guarantee a better robot? Not necessarily. While Tesla may not have the most muscular chip, it holds a near unbeatable advantage in controlling its entire ecosystem from hardware to software to AI training infrastructure. Tesla owns Dojo, a supercomputer that trains AI using data from millions of real-world driving scenarios. Plus, its OTA software update system ensures that each Optimus robot is part of a continually learning neural network that's always improving. What does this mean in practice? It means a robot that evolves over time. When Tesla updates its face recognition, object detection, or indoor navigation algorithms, every Optimus unit around the world gets smarter simultaneously. No need for service centers or hardware swaps, just a Wi-Fi connection and the robot's brain is upgraded. On Xpeng's side, it's still unclear whether Iron can receive OTA updates. Their operating system, Tianji OS, is in early stages, and the degree of optimization between the Turing chip, sensor suite, and navigation software remains unknown. A robot with raw power but no consistent training, is it really as intelligent as the specs suggest? To Xpeng's credit, Iron has already been deployed inside the Xpeng P7 Plus vehicle production line, assisting with bolt tightening, component handling, and assembly tasks. This proves the Turing chip isn't just theoretical. It's already working in real-world settings. However, that introduces a new challenge. With such high computational power, does iron consume more energy? Does it require larger batteries or complex cooling systems? And if so, can it still function effectively in constrained environments like homes or elder care facilities? Optimus takes the opposite route. With a simpler design and repurposed 4,680 battery cells from Tesla's EVs. This leads to longer operation time, easier battery swaps, and greater scalability. While it doesn't hit 3,000 tops, Optimus is intelligent enough for household chores, elderly care, or fixed space operations, all while keeping energy use low. So you have to ask yourself, is a robot with muscle but uncertain training more effective than one with a brain that keeps learning? In real-world applications, raw speed and power only get you halfway. The rest, and usually the deciding factor, is how fast the robot can adapt, learn, and evolve. Tesla already proved this with self-driving. New software can make older cars drive better and safer, 
With robots, that compounding effect could be even more powerful. Optimus doesn't have to be perfect out of the box. It just needs to learn faster than iron and improve week after week. As for Xpeng, if the Turing AI chip truly delivers as promised, and if they build a robust OTA infrastructure to match it, iron could become a powerhouse platform in industrial and service environments. But those are big ifs. Meanwhile, Tesla is already executing that vision, and millions of users are waiting for an AI assistant that updates as easily as a smartphone. In the end, iron might be stronger, but Optimus gets smarter every day. So here's the real question. Would you choose a robot that's brilliant from day one or one with immense potential that's still waiting to be fully unlocked? The answer lies in the speed of improvement and in that race Tesla currently leads. Once again, please help us reach 12,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. What tasks can Optimus and Iron actually perform in the real world? Amid all the promises about the future of humanoid robots, the core challenge and the true measure of success, isn't about how they walk, gesture, or speak. What really defines the winner is the robot's ability to carry out real-world tasks, tightening a bolt with precise torque, carrying a box without dropping it, or responding to unexpected situations like sudden obstacles or last-minute human changes. In the race between Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 and x G's Iron Robot, this is where the real test begins. Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized Tesla bot is not for show, it's designed to work. And to make that happen, Tesla didn't stop at the hardware. Every aspect from AI software, mechanical design, force sensors, to the modular actuators has been refined for one purpose. The robot must get the job done reliably, accurately, and repeatedly. Optimus Gen 3 has been tested by Tesla in everyday scenarios. Lifting boxes, sorting objects, folding clothes, tightening screws, wiping surfaces, navigating obstacles. The highlight here isn't about flashy demos, but the ability to sustain performance over time, react to environmental changes, and even remember user preferences. Optimus can learn how you like your towels folded or memorize exactly where you leave your morning coffee. These may seem like small details, but they're proof of real-world utility. Even more impressive is that Tesla develops Optimus's AI system based on real-world data from over 4 million Tesla vehicles. This means its environment modeling, computer vision, navigation, and reflexes are trained on a massive data set, updated daily. Thanks to this, Optimus is able to handle complex, dynamic situations, like reacting to a sudden voice from behind, or adjusting when an object falls out of reach, with behavior that approaches human-like responses. That said, Xpeng's Iron Robot should not be underestimated. It's the boldest challenge to Tesla's ambitions yet. Rather than stage flashy demonstrations, Xpeng took the practical route and deployed Iron directly into the P7 Plus electric car production line. There, Iron performs real tasks, tightening screws, assembling parts, moving components, inspecting modules. All in a live environment with dozens of workers, forklifts zipping past, and production timing down to the second. It's a pragmatic and commendable approach. Xpeng is building iron into a real factory worker, not just a showpiece. With 200 degrees of freedom and 15 joints per hand, iron can handle delicate objects, maneuver in tight spaces, and use both hands simultaneously for precise tasks. This gives it a clear edge in factory settings, where space is limited and accuracy is non-negotiable but doing a task once or even a few times isn't enough. A humanoid robot only proves its value when it can maintain consistent performance for hours, days, and years. And this is where Tesla pulls ahead. Thanks to its modular design and optimized software, Optimus is easy to maintain, can receive remote updates, and improves over time. Each OTA update makes the robot smarter and more efficient, without needing a technician on site. This is a massive advantage when deploying thousands of robots at global scale. What's more, Tesla is introducing a different business model, renting out Optimus by the hour or by shift. That means you don't have to buy the robot, you can hire it like a temporary worker. This is extremely useful for small businesses, households, or hospitals, where the upfront cost could be a barrier. Tesla is also working on a smart task assignment system, 
where robots will autonomously match themselves to tasks, much like how ride-sharing apps assign drivers to passengers. On the other hand, it's still unclear whether iron can be deployed beyond Xpeng's own factory. There's no public information about a commercial model, maintenance cost, or update system. And that leaves iron, despite its dexterity, as an open question in terms of flexibility and long-term reliability in consumer or service environments. In the end, the most important question remains, which robot can actually get work done and do more of it? A robot with powerful AI and agile movements is impressive, but if it can't repeat tasks hundreds of times a day, withstand environmental changes, or update easily, it remains just a fancy prototype. Meanwhile, the robot that can fold laundry, carry goods, assist the elderly, and clean hospital rooms quietly, reliably, and consistently is the one that truly wins. Right now, Optimus Gen 3 is proving that getting the job done is no longer just a promise. It's a strategy already playing out task by task and scaling rapidly inside Tesla's gigafactories. What is Tesla doing differently to make Optimus affordable and scalable? In the race to dominate the humanoid robot market, who will ultimately win in pricing and large-scale manufacturing? This isn't just an economic question. It's a full-spectrum test of long-term vision, industrial capability, and control over the entire value chain for two tech giants, Tesla and Xpeng. Elon Musk shook the tech world when he boldly claimed that the Tesla Optimus would be priced under $20,000 and aimed at a production volume of 1 million units per year. This isn't just ambitious, it signals the beginning of a consumer revolution, transforming humanoid robots from expensive prototypes into mainstream products. But how can Tesla keep the cost so low while Optimus integrates advanced AI processing, panoramic vision sensors, and precision hardware? The answer lies in Tesla's large-scale manufacturing strategy and the reuse of existing EV components, such as the 4680 battery, autonomous driving cameras, and Tesla's proprietary FSD chips. There's no need to reinvent the wheel, just repurpose it from a different industry. The key advantage, Tesla doesn't have to build a new ecosystem to produce robots. It can simply plug Optimus into existing assembly lines, gigafactories that have already produced millions of Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. As production ramps up, unit costs can drop exponentially. This is particularly significant as Tesla prepares to commercialize Optimus in earnest by 2025. Meanwhile, Xpeng is taking a more cautious approach. Rather than announcing a price or opening public sales, Xpeng is deploying iron internally on its EV production line as a tool for operational optimization. It's a smart way to test stability, efficiency, and durability in real-world conditions. However, this also suggests that Xpeng is not yet ready to scale up for commercial deployment. There's no official pricing, nor has Xpeng announced any dedicated factory expansion for iron. To bring iron to the global market, Xpeng will need more than an experimental assembly line. They'll need a complete industrial ecosystem, something Tesla has been building for over a decade. One key difference, Tesla doesn't necessarily need to sell Optimus outright to generate major revenue. Elon Musk has revealed that Optimus will be available through a rental model, similar to leasing a vehicle, server, or automated labor. With a monthly rental fee in the hundreds of dollars, small businesses, households, and hospitals can access robots without a large upfront investment. This opens up a massive recurring revenue stream for Tesla, and more importantly, allows the company to collect usage data to continuously refine both hardware and AI software. It's a closed-loop growth flywheel, very much in Musk's playbook. What about Xpeng? So far, they've made no mention of a robot rental model. Given Iron's more complex hardware, additional joints, and higher power consumption, it could be harder to maintain and update remotely. If Xpeng were to implement a leasing model, the cost of maintenance and after-sales support could become a significant burden, especially without the OTA and global service infrastructure that Tesla already has in place. So, which strategy will prevail in the long run? Selling a few high-priced robots to industrial clients, or leasing millions of affordable robots to homes, small businesses, retail shops, and restaurants? If Tesla's rental model succeeds, 
it won't just create stable cash flow. It could position Tesla as the world's largest provider of robotic labor, a leap no other company is close to matching. Another critical factor is total cost of ownership, TCO. Tesla supports over-the-air OTA updates, allowing users to enhance performance, add new features, and fix bugs without visiting a service center. This dramatically lowers maintenance costs and extends product life a span. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.